Florida is the latest state in America to start electrifying freeways. What does this mean? Well, it means you actually can charge your car at a fairly high rate simply by driving down some roads in Florida. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. This is a really cool idea, right? A new Florida toll road will charge electric cars whilst they drive. Now, obviously, you'd have to opt into this, but it's a cool feature. Sections of State Road 516 will be electrified to enable cars, EVs, to charge. This facility could eventually be rolled out to all EVs that are capable of induction charging. Now, worries about charging EVs on longer journeys are one of the reasons why some people say they don't want to buy an EV. They say they're scared of range anxiety, etc., those sorts of issues. It still takes longer to charge an EV, it's true, than it does to refuel an ICE car. Now, that only implies on road trips. It takes longer on a road trip, yes. Does it take longer on a daily basis? No, it doesn't, because the average American doesn't drive very far. They drive about 25 miles a day. Obviously, EVs, even the worst range EVs, have around 200 miles of range. So, yeah, I mean, if you bought an average EV, which has around 250 to 300 miles of range, you'd have no issues with charging or taking time to charge. You just plug it in as soon as you get home, probably takes you about 15 seconds maximum. But on, on a road trip, that's where things change. So it does take longer in a road trip. And there isn't always a charging point available. A lot of them aren't working if they're not Tesla chargers. So it'd be awesome to be able to charge your vehicle while you drive along. And I've made a couple of videos on countries that are installing charging inductor plates underneath roads. It's happening in Sweden, it's happening in Japan, happening actually in a few different places around the world. EV drivers in Central Florida are a step closer to this kind of utopian sci-fi dream of never ever having to charge simply by being able to drive along a road and charge your car as you drive. Florida has granted approval for a new toll road that will contain an electrified section capable of charging electric cars. This will be called State Road 516, and the East West Link connects Highway 27 in Lake County and State Road 429 in Orange County. The new road is a joint project between the Central Florida Expressway Authority, CPX, and Aspire, whose full name is, well, the main thing you need to know, says Car Scoops, is that ENRX has some impressive inductive charging technology, clearly. It works. The system works much like the one used in your electric toothbrush or the wireless phone charger in your car. It sends energy from a pre-assembled ground winding coils in the road surface to a receiver pad under the vehicle. Surprisingly, it actually works relatively efficiently. I've read some reports on how well these work and they don't work as well, obviously, as plugging straight into your, into your car, but you don't lose a whole lot of energy in the process of coming from the road and sending that energy wirelessly into the battery pack. ENRX has taken part in several trials in Europe, stretching back 25 years, delivering 180 kilowatt of power. That's, that's more power than most EVs are capable of actually accepting through their charge ports. That goes to the EVs that the road automatically detects moving above them. The firm says the equipment is capable of charging electric cars, vans, trucks, buses, pretty much anything electric. And it won't have any negative effects on non-electrified vehicles. It'll just turn, basically if you drive a non-electrified vehicle, then you drive down this road, you will actually start to lose brain cells and apparently you could grow an extra finger. You know, you. No, I'm kidding, but um, we should tell them that. Yeah. Anyway, this sounds amazing. However, worth pointing out, it's only for one mile or 1.6 kilometers. That is 1.6 kilometers or one mile of the planned five mile expressway, which is eight kilometers. So it still does mean that nearly 20% of the road will be electrified. Eventually, CFX hope to offer this charging service to all EV drivers who use the road. It won't be America's first inductive charging road though. That honor goes to a quarter mile or 400 meter stretch in Detroit that actually opened last month. So at least this is four times longer than that stretch. I mean, where will we be, guys, in you know 20 or 30 years? I think we'll be looking at sections of highway that could be electrified for 10 miles or more. And people won't be worried about range anxiety. I don't think it's going to exist in uh, you know five to 10 years from now. 
Though the $524 million toll road will cut through Greenland, it makes provisions for nature with a wildlife underpass plus pathways for runners and walkers. But it's also hoped the road will have a huge economic benefit resulting from it linking two of the, late, the fastest growing regions in Florida and potentially making money for them. You know, obviously you have to pay for the electricity that you use, but I think it makes a lot of sense. Guys, what are your thoughts on this concept of having wireless charging roads? I don't think they're going to take off everywhere. And I don't actually think in the long term they're needed just because I think the infrastructure will improve significantly and range EV battery ranges in vehicles will continue to grow as battery energy density continues to improve. But let me know what you think in the comments. Bye-bye.